Well, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, May the 4th be with you. <laughs> um, we're just uh, out here doing final checks on the planner. Um, this planner has a lot of tongue weight, which is why I don't like tongue drawn implements. It's got about 7,000 pounds of tongue weight when it's empty on seed when it's, and when it's folded up. So I've got my uh, farmer eyes to. Uh, yeah, I don't see that. It's in there. My farmerized uh, draw bar supports there. Kind of a hard, hard place to get a nice video of that. That I've got all my hoses kind of out of the way. Got my cords all hooked up here. Um, that's an old safety chain, by the way. Just run down to my draw bar. Um, found a couple problems this morning. I've left it set with water in it. And I was just adjusting some hoses on my saddle tanks and I had a hose spring leak which I'm glad it was full of water that hose right there sprung a leak so we're working on getting that fixed um, checked over the planter and finished greasing everything I adjusted the transmission this is how you adjust your seed rate there's a gear there a gear there a gear there and there and here's all the spare gears here for different settings. Um, got my down pressure all adjusted. Um, I also got rid of, I had a quick coupler right here um, to hook up my tank, but I never unhooked my tank. And it seems like it was always having a hard time leaking um, for random reasons for whatever. So I decided to get rid of the quick coupler and just go to direct fitting there. So I done that this morning. So now we're just waiting on uh, we're just waiting on parts to, or a hose. My brother's in town, so he's picking up a hose for me to uh, <coughs> get started filling the fertilizer, and and uh, I'll be taking off here shortly to get started. Well, hello everybody. Just in the yard here, getting ready to go out, start planting or give it a try here. Um, got seed in my planter up in the hoppers there. I'm pumping some fertilizer right now. semi here, I just crawled up here on that. But I've got uh, valves, you know, going different direction that's where you fill at. And I got two cones for what I'm spraying, and there's my pump. And this is what I use to haul fertilizer out for the field with. So you guys see that, and I guess we're gonna be out here uh, trying to plant here shortly. So I'll probably see you guys in a little bit. Well, hello everybody. Um, just getting ready to start planting here. I forgot to open a bell. Alright, well, we are got the fertilizer on. Cell tanks are rocking. Got my tank behind ready to rock. And I guess here goes nothing. Um, I, this, you guys are watching the first seed of 2017 get put in the ground. And I've got a chain that fell off. <sighs>
that beeper is really loud. We might have to slightly adjust my beeper. Well, that's it. We're planting. Once I'm gonna get everything straightened with the world here, and I'm going to uh, not have to drive, and I'll look back a little bit here. There's my GPS line. Gonna watch the fence line over there. All right, boys and girls, we're rolling. Better kick this in four wheel drive. Gonna go down here just a little bit longer, and we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go check the check water rows. So anyhow, I guess we're gonna we're gonna jump out here and we'll go out and check the rows quick and see how we're doing. Take my trusty man. That beeper is something else. Holy kajeebers! Let me take the pliers. Pliers look good today. Some pretty nice. The ground feels pretty nice in this field. I always check and make sure my gate wheels are tight. So they ride right there. Tight, so they got all the pores going into the ground. And here we are, we'll start digging. I might want to move this out of shadow so bad. A little rusty I'm finding these little guys, so. Well, there's one. We can find another one. Don't really have still in shot here. I'm planting a population about. Well, where are you? You got to be here somewhere. I'm trying to watch my shot and watch what I'm doing. I'm probably just throwing them away. start like I was hoping. That might be a little deep. Holy kajeebers. Well, anyhow, I'm going to end this for now. I might add some more. This will be a standalone video here. I'm going to get all of it adjusted right. And we'll come back and show you some more. We'll see you here in a little bit. Now. Here we are again, everybody. Um, it's getting here towards evening about 8 o'clock or so and I just after eight o'clock I plant corn about five and a half mile an hour is what I shoot for um, I plant soybeans a little faster and stuff but corn corn needs to take your time and make sure it's in the ground right and stuff and I planted the soybean field which you guys can maybe see the sun's kind of shining over there over on that side of me and I've come, made, decided to make this field and the corn field here one field. So that's going to be corn on corn here. Um, I got some some corn that should be all right on this ground, and and everything should be okay. Um, obviously, we're out here no tilling again. Um, had a few 
A um, few things go wrong. I had my fertilizer pump. I'll give me a little fix there when I started. Um, I had a chain come off twice. And um, I think a corn stock got in there actually the one time. And this is a wet spot. Last year we had a lot of rain and had water stand here. So it's dry this year, so hopefully we get a crop off of it. But anyhow, uh, and then I had a hose blow. Um, so my tractor drawbar got a good oil bath. It's always good. Keep Don't want stuff to get rusty, so I guess it's a good use for that oil. Um, I've got my planter set for 100 or uh, 20, 24,000 in my population. Um, but for some reason, if you see my monitor, it shows uh, 27, 8. But I'm pretty sure it's reading high. I think my, I got a wheel back there that counts how fast you're going, and I bet that it's not. I bet it's got some dirt on it, or one of the sensors is going a little bad. So it's, we're, it's saying I'm sure we're going slower than what we are. Um, so anyhow, that's that. So. We'll see, I guess I'm going to plant. I got uh, 12 bags in my planter right now. I'm going to plant until I run out of seed or you know, come close to running out of seed and then we'll see how many acres I covered and and uh, you know, go from there. If I need to adjust it down, I'll get out and change the gears, but I figured I should do around 40 acres maybe with what I've got in there. So I um, should get most of this field done. Eh, this, this field might be about 60. And I combined these, I can't remember. Then then I made the field over there bigger, so I've, instead of having three fields in this section, uh, or four fields, I'm only going to have three fields is my, is my plan, I guess. Um, I, think, I think I'll get out here and show you guys what it looks like back behind a little bit before I get up on the hill. That beeper is so loud. I'm sorry for how loud that beeper is. Hopefully it's not too loud for you. Hopefully it don't make you want to not listen to the video. But here we'll just look at this quick. You guys can see there's corn in, in each one of them little dimples. That's a fake dimple so this roller doesn't bounce. So you can see and then you hit it, hit that kernel, it falls out. So I'm gonna have two skips right there. That's how that works. When it comes to the roller, that's, there's a tube in there, and the tubes come out back here, and they go to each row. I'm gonna do just a little digging. I haven't checked since we've been we got moved to this cornfield, so you can see I'm knocking all the corn stalks over. Some worms. I don't know why I can't find seed when I'm on the video. Earlier I just found them like a down a row. I need to find a row that's not right on a row of corn. That old corn. There's a new corn right there. This one's an old corn. I don't know. I have a hard time finding corn when you guys are watching, I guess. There's one. There's another one. There, we're getting a little bit better. We got corn, corn. Uh, corn right there. So we're looking good for spacing there. That's why I don't believe my monitor, because I've checked and measured it and Oh, it's like eight inches or a little over eight. Now, whatever it is, I, I figured it should be about right. Um, see, so just plant through this residue. I'll just push off the residue to the side here and, and I leave a little black strip. Um, I know you people thinking about doing some no-till. I done no-till for quite a while without them trash cleaners and I actually had a pretty good stand and stuff, especially soybeans. Soybeans are so hardy, they're an unbelievable crop. Um, have to let the weather warm up a little more and I'm gonna have to come out and do a little spraying, but for right now I think we're okay. Dig a little bit more. And then we find a row that I can't find nothing on. 
And I know it's here because my monitor yell at me. But it's just hard to find sometimes. <laughs> but I don't know, the green green seed's hard to find. I don't know why. There it is. Seems like it just stuck, but you can see that ground's really not that hard. I'm gonna walk over the soybean field. This corn ground's kinda hard. We got head cattle on it, but that's why it's hard. But this soybean ground, man, it was beautiful planting in. See uh, and a good job on moving that residue out of the way. And then, it, I mean, it looks like there's a lot of dirt you know, lined up here, but it's not, it's just trash. But you can see here, it's just nice and moist underneath that ground, underneath all that layer of trash. It's beautiful. And this dirt here, it's wet. You got all the roots in it and it just falls apart. Oh, beautiful, perfect. Had a spot, that spot here, back here was a little wet. I had another creek that was a little wet, but other words, just fields been perfect. So we'll have to see, I guess, what happens. Um, I'll probably plan into the night tonight. I'll probably make a different video of that tomorrow, maybe. If you guys that's watched this whole thing, will have to let me know if you guys like the me yabber jabbering while I'm driving, or if you guys would rather just uh, have shorter videos and just kind of keep you up to date on what's going on and stuff. But you guys can let me know. Um, so far, I had a pretty good day. I mean, I got started late, so I haven't really planted that many acres. I think I've only planted about 30, but I didn't get started till late afternoon, and and uh, then had that hose break down, and just the first day problems. You know, it's seems like no matter how well you think you're prepared to start, it seems like all the time there's uh, something that happens that they just decide that it's not that time. You know, you're not you're not ready to start yet, so. You can see I got my pole behind tank back there and got my saddle tanks on still and <coughs> and uh, my saddle where my pole behind tank back there is about empty um, and whatnot. I'll, I'll get turned around here and I think I'm going to call her a video. I think it's getting long enough. If I do some videos tomorrow of uh, probably loading with seed and probably what, loading with fertilizer. Uh, it's beeping at me because I raised my planter up so quit planting, so it tells me that I, the planter is not functioning correctly, but it is really functioning right, it's just how it is. Wish I could turn that beeper down. Got the little knob turned all the way, so I'm supposed to muffle it, but either my ears got more sensitive over the winter time or, or something, I don't know. But I just turned right around with that tank on and that everything seems to be going good hopefully everything continues well and tomorrow I'm hoping to get a, a big day in hoping to cover a lot of acres tomorrow um, got some the guy that I custom plant for uh, the neighbor I custom combine with him and stuff I plant his corn for him and uh, I'll be hopefully starting I'll do that this weekend um, that way I don't have to worry about fertilizer and stuff on the weekend and and uh, I'll do that and get that done he's got a couple hundred acres or 300 acres or something and should be able to get that done in a couple days i would think um my planter is a 30 inch planter for you guys that haven't watched enough to figure or know that it's a 16 row um i bought the tank back there it's a thousand gallon tank each one of them saddle tanks are 300 gallons so i got a total of 1600 gallons of fertilizer i'm running 32 percent um, some 1034, which is phosphorus, um, and a little zinc, a little bit of sulfur, and a little bit of boron now. Uh, it's deficient in boron, so I've decided to try boron. That's something we've never done. It's the first year for us trying it, so we'll see how that turns out. And I guess, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, I guess I did start uh, Instagram. An account. I don't know how much on my Facebook I'm gonna 
um, have people on there just that watch my videos and stuff just because there's a lot of I don't hardly actually use Facebook anymore it's just filled with garbage but I intend to put pictures and stuff on Instagram you guys can find me under my name Ted Kaler and you guys can follow me on there I'll let anyone follow that I think my thoughts unless I have problems but anyhow <clears throat> I got a phone call, so we got to roll. Thanks for watching. Bye.